Joining us on Hope and Glory, you must be delighted with that point. Really pleased, really proud of the group um, because I think uh, the squad showed their their qualities and the character, and they showed their humility for me as people. Because you know we've had Jordan supporting Carl all year, Tash and Oakley Booth, who's comes in and trains like a monster every day and, and hasn't been involved in any squads. Um, Luke Plan just come in to play. I told him he was going to play and ended up sticking with 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 the current system we've got, which limited strikers. Um, Sean Rowan coming back in after having an outstanding season. So um, uh, Dylan making his full debut it was just it was a really good show of unity from from the squad as people, and from that you then see the qualities uh, with the technical actions as well. Did you feel you'd done enough to win the game? I'm not sure anybody did. I, th I actually really enjoyed, I thought it was a really good game of football, um, but if you look at the final toured actions, uh, both keepers had one save to make each. Uh, we've hit the woodwork, which I thought was really unlucky, but um, I thought both defences were outstanding tonight. I thought it was two really good defensive performances. I thought there was really good, uh, some quality football on show as well at times. Um, but I thought a draw was probably a fair result. Yeah, your back line certainly had to make sure their heading was on point tonight, didn't they? Um, yeah, I mean, Barnsley, to be fair, challenged in that regard. Um, they've got two outstanding strikers in, in Devante and James, and then you look at the people they bring on. Um, you know, they've got a real quality attacking threat. Um, you know, they're, they're fought in the league for a reason. So, um, And I thought on tonight's performance, um, you know, I walked away thinking what a really good side they are as well. So they, they, to me, I knew coming into the game, especially with Michael, he's an outstanding coach. And I think the job he's done at Barnsley is incredible. So I knew coming into the game how tough it'd be because of Michael. And obviously that's the tour time we've played Barnsley this year. So we've had a good look at them. you come through all the top four now and not lost both games to any of them you've, you've taken points off all those top four teams how proud are you of that record um i'm just really proud of the group the the teams we take points off points are points i don't doesn't matter to me who we take them off but I, i'm just really proud of of the squad and the players and the people we have first and foremost before we talk about them as footballers um, and i think with that humility and the strength and their character and their attitude we've got multiple players who should go on to have exciting careers it's something we talk about all the time about not wasting a day maximizing yourself um recognising the opportunity you got and they, they they do that every day there's the very low maintenance group very humble um, so, you know, uh, just a pleasure to work with. I know when we talked last week, we talked about this mini league and 10th and now being the aim. You've gone up to 11th tonight. I guess now the, the next step is to go on and break up into that, that top 10 if you can. Um, not something I've thought about all year, probably because it's my first year. I didn't really set myself out with any goals and it's not about me. And I keep saying it, it's pretty boring, but just focusing on... And the, on the next game, the minute we start looking two games ahead, uh, we, we will find ourselves in trouble. So um, we'll finish where we'll finish, but we'll just try and attack every game as best we can and try and accumulate as many points as possible. On Jordan Wright, how pleased are you that he kept the clean sheet tonight and, and has made you know made the most of the, the work he's had to do all season to try and get in the team? And then when he's been given that chance, he, he's got that clean sheet. Really, really pleased from. I think he's a fantastic goalkeeper. I've. Uh, all of us, but as the head coach, I've constantly banged a drum from all year. Um, I think he's going to be an outstanding number one. I think he'll have a really, really good career. Um, he's good with his feet, makes makes really, really big saves. Uh, temperament is excellent. Um, and to come in tonight against such a good, good side, and I was really pleased when we got a clean sheet because he played well in a lot of games this year, but not quite had the rewards in terms of clean sheet. So that will mean the world to him, but he deserves it. And, um, without going overboard, because I've mentioned this several times, I think one of the main reasons Carl has done as well as he did, he's an outstanding keeper, but I think Jordan's played a huge part in that. Uh, and just finally, I know you'll probably be able to tell us more on Thursday, but Ben House and Danny Mandroy, do they have a chance for the weekend or is it looking doubtful? No, I, I hope so, but I say that carefully because, um, you know, we've got another 24 hours. Sometimes you come in the next day and things haven't settled down quite as it seems, but... Um, I don't want to say we're quietly confident because things can change, but um, we're, we're 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 hoping they'll be back. I'm I'm, I'm looking I'm, I'm looking on the positive side. I'm not expecting bad news. I'm expecting good news, but um, things can change. Hold on the point. Thank you. Thank you.